Uh, now, I'm going to start off with a big question. Uh, can you talk about how Monarch is going to set the stage for Godzilla vs. Kong next year, if it will at all, or if it's simply helping that foundation that's already set? Um, I don't think I, I don't think it will. I mean, we the the show exists. We exist in the sort of the same canonical universe. You know, we all play in the same sandbox that that our world is within, you know, the the four soon to be five uh, feature films in the le the modern legendary universe. But part of the mandate that we got or not necessarily a mandate, but what we were allowed to do in creating the show is kind of chart our own path and to yeah. say that. You know, as long as we don't directly violate, you know, or contradict any of the canon, um, you know, as established in the films, uh, that we're not necessarily, you know, required to uh, integrate our story into theirs. So there are some some plot points and some characters that that maybe glancingly cross over, um, but really we kind of set out to tell this story of Kate and Kentaro Randa and their search for their father. Uh, that exists sort of in its own lane. Yeah, yeah you know, and and you know, our, our film takes place even you know after you know after 2014, we were even sort of existing chronologically before King of the Monsters. Uh, uh, so that's that's we're sort of doing more to to set that up, you know, in the story of yeah. of, of Monarch coming to the Global Four for the first time. Do you guys expect this to be a one season tale, or do you want this to play out over several seasons? it wasn't designed as a limited series you know it, it we certainly loved the characters and the and playing in the world and if we are so lucky and so fortunate i think we could keep going for as as long as people want to keep watching quite honestly yeah i mean it's kind of really up to the viewers and the fans we yeah. hope we hope that they respond to the story that that we're telling that they'll want to see more yeah now, if you could pick one aspect of this new series that truly makes it unique amongst all of the other Godzilla media monsterverse, what would you what would you say is is the one thing? I think it's funny. I think there's a way to answer it without sounding critical. You know, well, I don't want to say yeah. you and I are thinking the same thing. Yeah. Is I don't want to submit. I don't want to answer it that sounds critical of the feature films, which are which are their own thing and which are enormously successful in their own way. But what we wanted to do that felt different from the features was to really focus on a smaller, more intimate character story yeah. that wasn't, that didn't center on or focus on whatever the current Titan crisis might be. Yeah, we didn't yeah. want to make 10 short, small monster movies. We wanted to tell a 10-hour a, a serial narrative. Uh, and to do that, it, it's got to start with people. It's got to start with characters that you care about. Um, um, and... You know, movies are things we go out to see. They're giant spectacles. You buy tickets, you sit in seats in an auditorium, you watch it with the 200 other people. You know, this is a thing you invite into your home. Um, um, and so, so just, I think, I think something that we get to do just by virtue of writing for television rather than writing, thinking of it as smaller movies or, or, or whatever is, is like, no, we get to tell these long sequential human serial stories about people that, that we came to care quite a lot about. Uh, um... Yeah, that and, and Legendary has been very supportive of that. that, that from the very beginning, there was the sense of we couldn't, if this show was going to work as a show, we couldn't just try to shrink one of the big features down to TV size. Mm -hmm. You know, we had to sort of build this from the ground up as a TV series, as something that was going to go for 10 hours. And hopefully, if we're lucky, two seasons, three seasons, four, whatever we're lucky enough to get. So uh, it's a different animal than what a feature film is. And I, I think in that sense, that is, that's something to me that's unique about it. Mm -hmm.